Hey, my beautiful followers, how is everybody doing today? It is a chilly day in North Texas, and I, I decided to let my angel buddy here participate in my lives. So you get to see my Christmas day. Part of my Christmas decorations, so is what it is. Uh, so this morning I woke up, and I actually have been, I woke up really early, and I, I uh, cleaned the Addison Bell uh, mansion. So no, I was cleaning this morning and just, doing different things, but before I got really into all my to-do list, I was scrolling through Facebook and my messages, and I posted on Facebook a message that somebody had given me, sent me. It was a really inappropriate message about what this gentleman wanted to do to me and all that, and you know what? I get these messages all the time. I do a lot of times just like let them roll off my back. Like it's like, okay, it is like I'm not going to put the energy there. But for some reason today I just was like, I need, I need to share this. I need to share this. I need to share it not in a hateful way, but really in a, this doesn't work for, for a true divine feminine. This doesn't work. This won't get you the true sex you want. And you might it might get you the quick get off, but it's not going to get you that deeply passionate, connective, true orgasmic sex. Like, and I mean true orgasm. Not this bullshit climax stuff. You can have that with your hand. But for men, it, this, this treatment of women does not open our hearts. It does not allow your woman to take you to that next level of sexing because how it works we think that like men are supposed to lead and they are men the divine masculine does lead that's not saying that he needs to start sex all the time but the divine masculine has an ener has an energetic lead however what we don't talk about a lot is that the man leads but then the woman leads deeper into the sex and then the man leads a little bit more and then the woman de leads deeper into the sex when i say she leads i mean she energetically leads she dances in her feminine energy and that is a true divine feminine and this is what so many people and men particularly they come to me and they go i want this sex that you talk about addison i want this sex how do i get the sex and I can tell you it's not in receiving messages like I received. That's not the divine masculine. That is the negative societal bullshitted kind of masculine energy that I'm seeing. It's not in young people. I got a comment. Oh, it's this person is young. Well, I actually get more comments like this from men in their 50s and 60s than I do men in their 20s and 30s. You would think that that, um, that would change, but actually it hasn't. Actually, it doesn't matter what generation, men are still going after women in this way. And I shared it not to be like, men, you suck, because no, you don't. No, you don't. You don't suck. You're amazing. Like, I love the men in my life. But it is to show that you have to open your woman's heart up before you open up her sex. You have to dip into her heart. And I shared this too, because yesterday I was talking to a married woman, married for many, many years, and her husband will text her things like this. And this is actually shutting her down more because he's not connecting from a heart space. He's wanting to just connect from her genitals, and that's not working. That I run into this issue with couples all the time or people who are in serious dating relationships. So this is not just a random sexting messages to people kind of thing. This is a, a continual thing a lot of times in relationships. But funnily enough, that's not actually what my live is about. So I posted that, but then not even, not even five minutes later, I actually posted something that happened to me really sweet last night. So I was, I received a gift from from a man in in my world. He's not in my life particularly as far as like like we're not dating, you know, we don't we don't have any romance going on. 
he's just a guy who knows me and he felt the need to give me a gift and actually he doesn't realize he didn't realize i don't think it's perfect timing because in that moment i was having a moment of like breathing in like the holidays because about a month ago a lot of you know i broke up with my man and then the holidays got busy so i have not been dating and i was like like i was having a moment of like yeah i'm actually kind of like feeling a little nostalgic and lonely like not lonely in the space of like i hate myself but like just in like a like like it'd be nice to go go see have have a guy to go see lights with and be playful with like just having a moment and then he came and he gave me this beautiful gift and i was in this moment of really just needing the masculine not in a sexual way not in a romantic way but just in a hey i want to give you um this beautiful gift i want to give you this beautiful moment of receiving and it was it was really heart opening and so this morning i got up and i put i just took a quick little picture of it because it truly was like the start to my holidays it truly was a moment of me going like thank you universe thank you sweet man and I, so i posted that and funnily enough the commentary is like zilch on that post but the commentary on this negative post is like expansive and though I'm glad I made my point and I'm like, I'm getting conversation stirring because I love conversation stirring. I was like, wow, wow, we can focus in on this negative piece, but we forget to focus in on the good guys. We forget to focus in on the positives going on. We give more focus and attention to the assholes than the guy who really did open up my heart. And I see this in relationships as well. So it's not just in a posting that like, oh, so many people liked, commented on this post about this inappropriate post, but that don't put the same effort or the same attention or the same awe on the beauty that also comes into our lives the beauty that we even see on social media you know the you know this guy went above and beyond to make my day and that ended up getting kind of washed aside on my facebook versus this other gentleman who just threw a couple of of inappropriate words and statements he gets attention he gets more attention and again i see this in relationships all the time where we focus in on the negatives of our man, forgetting all the beauty that he also can provide us. When you get deeper into a relationship, the truth is it is easier to see these dynamics that, that kind of grate on our nerves. And that is the washing away of the new relationship energy. And that's normal and it's okay. But we lose sight of the beauty that our men and the people in our lives do for us meaning like if your man every morning brings you coffee well or is it something that is now expected or is it something that every morning you go thank you honey thank you that was so sweet of you like you don't have to do that and i appreciate you do it, taking the time do you put your attention if you're dating i have so many people who are dating do you put the attention on the man who really courts you in the dating process and is sending these sweet comments to you or are you putting the attention on the assholes that are sending you inappropriate comments or the bad dates or the negative stuff i hope that you're focused in on the good guys and when I say good guys, this does not mean you have to be all lovey-dovey, kiss my ass, kiss another woman's ass. And if that is what you want, women, that is not a divine masculine. That is somebody you're going to run over. A good guy is somebody who, is, who knows himself, who knows his purpose, who is conscious, who is coming from, yes, his his arousal because and his sexual energy that's okay it's not it's not bad that men are like look at women and are like 
wow, she's really beautiful. Or like, her body really arouses me. There's nothing wrong with that. There, I don't see any problem with that. As long as you can respect the rest of her, there is nothing wrong with appreciating a woman's beauty in all ways. But a divine masculine, a good guy, doesn't have to always do everything the woman says. Or And, and this doesn't mean that you can't have your, your, your moments of speaking your truth and being what you might be perceived as an asshole. I have so many beautiful, beautiful men in my practice right now. And a couple of them are like, I don't want to be an asshole, Addison. I don't want to be, I don't want to say that. I don't want to be cruel. I don't want to, and I'm like, well, sometimes you do actually have to stand up for self. And that is not, that's being a good guy. That is standing in your truth. That is standing in your power. That is different than being inappropriate in your your presentation and your connection with the woman. Being a good guy doesn't mean you have to be willing to be rolled over. A woman will not respect you and will not be able to drop into her feminine energy. And this is what you want your woman to do. You want your woman to feel safe enough if she is doing her own work, because it is not just on you guys, but if she is doing her own work and she is trusting in herself, to be able to drop into her feminine energy and allow you to lead, that is being a good guy. And we tend to put our focus, women, we tend to put our focus so much sometimes on the negatives we see in men. I see this all the time. Like there's actually all these memes and quotes and I run over just this this mindset that men are only after one thing, they're all dogs, they're all, and, and guess what? Like, yeah, guys, you are run by your cocks. But that doesn't mean that you're, you can't also be run by your heart as well and that you can't connect to your intuition. And like, you're not just a cock. Like, you are more than that. You are more than that. And we get the this negative perception that men don't ha aren't complex and I hate I, I actually hate it I see some of my my girlfriends that aren't in kind of my sex coaching world and they're like yeah he just always wants to have sex like you know, and they kind of dwindle their man down I'm like actually he he there's so much more of him and I mean these are sometimes married relationships married relationships and they dwindle their man down and they forget to truly have compassion and love and true true gratitude for the things their man does for them instead of focusing in on the fact that they left their socks on the floor or you know last night that he asked for sex when he knew it was a bad time but most of the time he does it. Like we tend to hyper focus in on these negative negative pieces. And so I just wanted to bring this to you guys today because in truth, my passion today was actually for the second post. The second post about the man who really made my day. That is actually where my heart and my passion went when I was posting. The other one was like, oh, this is a beautiful teaching moment. This is a beautiful teaching moment. And not that I don't have passion for my teaching, but my heart was in the other post. And I found it really interesting that my followers wanted to focus in on the negative post of just a guy who, who was being inappropriate versus a guy who really stood up and um, gave up himself and shared a bit of his heart with me. Yes, it was through a gift, but that is one of my love languages. You know, but the focus didn't get put there. It wasn't, oh, how sweet Addison. Oh, what a great guy. It was focused in on this other one. So I want you today, whether you're a man or a woman, to think about where you are brushing things aside, where you are, especially if you're a woman, where you're not focused in, on the fucking amazing good guys in your life. But instead you're focusing in on all the at true, true assholes in your world. And then as a man, where can you maybe 
alter your perception of how you're either approaching women if you are that guy who is hungry and so is approaching women. Can you maybe tweak that? Maybe you could get some help. I do coaching any, from anywhere in the world. Um, or if you're a man who who is like, no, I really don't do that. Maybe there's a place that you need to step more into your divine masculine, take a little bit more of the lead. Or maybe you just need to continue to do the amazing things that you are doing. Either way, no matter what, uh, I hope you enjoyed this message today. I, I'm going to get going, but I do want to remind everybody of my, my The Elves Made Me Do It program, uh, not program, holiday special that's going on. This goes away on December 26th, so if you have not booked with me by December 26th, then this is a no-go uh, as far as specials go, and these prices won't be back probably ever. <laughs> um, but it is an amazing deal to get started on your coaching journey uh, with me.